Gareth Southgate has said himself, my role, my job ahead of the Qatar World Cup is to get an extra attacker into our team. Yeah, which they need to do. Which they need to do because they've got so much great attacking talent. How do you do that? Do you play Rice and Phillips? And then who? Yeah, because he... Do you drop Mason Mount then? Because you're not going to get an extra attacker in if you play both Rice and Calvin Phillips. But I think he went wrong during the Euros because there was that myth that you couldn't play Grealish and Foden together. And that never happened. You know, one would play, one wouldn't play. I agree with bringing in another forward because we desperately need that. But I still think at the end of the day, at least, I guess... During the Euros, I don't think anybody expected him to go with two defensive midfielders, and he did. And it actually worked, didn't it? Mm. You can't say it didn't work because mm. we got to the got... final. Yeah. Mm. But at the same time, no one wanted that. So, you know, I think at this moment in time, there's still a few spots available for the squad, but the manager should know realistically who is, you know, oh, 11 or This was squad the exact be. point I was just about to make to you. I honestly feel... This squad is a final chance for a lot of players. I know I said we keep I keep saying we're going to mention it. We will get to it in the final hour. We'll talk about some of those fringe players. But I honestly feel those players that Gareth Southgate has a question mark over and he wants to see a little bit more out of, it's this window that he, I think he really needs to give them that opportunity to, to start games. Because you go to the Nations League and four matches in the summer... I think you need to start moulding your best team at that yeah. point in time. You need to give them opportunities to play in competitive matches against decent teams. We'll be playing Germany one of those games as well in the summer. I think you, st- you, n- you really need to start forming what your best eleven is. And because there are so many good players in the England team at the moment, I don't think Gareth Southgate knows what his best eleven is. He, he doesn't, but it's, it's difficult because you've got to remember, this isn't a normal World Cup year. Normally, it would be happening in the summer mm-hmm. and you'd have to get things going a lot quicker. We're going to have another Premier League season starting come in August. Few games, months of games between then and the World Cup actually starting. And players between now and then could drop off. They could be having a good season now. And then a new season starts domestically for their club. And they're not having a good game. And then other players are bursting onto the scene. But this is this takes us back to what Gareth Southgate said. He said, we pick players on form over a considered period of time. I honestly don't think that the start of next season, in terms of his best eleven. If he picks that and he, they play throughout the summer and he thinks he knows what that 11 is, it would have to be a huge, I mean, a, a monumental drop off in form. But we've seen or an injury. Or, or, an, or, or, injury or, or an injury. Or an injury. We've seen for it. That, that to change. We've seen it in what, six to seven months, unfortunately. Look at Marcus Rashford. No one even thought could even comprehend him not being in the England squad. Now he's not even in the England squad. And that's in less than a year. And it can happen. Yeah. You know, the World Cup is in. The end of November. That like, this is this is a long way away. Like, I, and but it and isn't. We, That's my point. It isn't. Okay, it isn't. But what I'm saying is, this, this people can drop off in that period of time. A monumental drop off can definitely happen. And with the amount of players we're talking about, Jacob Ramsey's under 21s right now, scoring worldies. He's playing out of his skin. But for some players, they, it doesn't matter about the drop off, as we've clearly seen, because Harry like Maguire. Who? Yeah, but his example, isn't a monumental drop off though. Uh, yeah, really? I think so. Monumental. You can't get any more monumental than his drop off. No, because the whole team is bad. It's not just nah, him. Nah, 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 the nah. whole team is bad. The whole bad. team is bad, but still, there is a big drop off, Craig. Nah, because Harry he, was, he was never that guy anyway. He no, was he never was. that guy. No, he wasn't. He was. No, he's he nowhere wasn't. near as bad. He, he was never eighty million. He's never been that guy. No, why about the price tag? I'm not talking in, about the price I am. tag. He was never that guy. But do you think he should be in the England starting eleven? On form, no, no, in the squad. Yeah, he has to. He has to be in the okay. squad. So he's if, got the experience. It, he's got a head on his shoulders. He's played for England. He, yes. If his form continues in exactly the same way until the World Cup squad's announced, mm. do you think he'll be in it? He's the exception to the rule. Why, for Gareth Southgate? Why? Even me, from me, even being in the squad and seeing him there in Russia, it, it, he, the way he is, he's got this thing about him. The way he carries himself, the players actually respect him. I've nah, seen it. but come they on. Do. That, you're contradicting There's, yourself. I'm not. So. I'm not. I'm because saying he's saying, the only exception. How can he be the only exception if because, he's playing as bad as he is I don't now? Mean, no, he's not for me, but for Southgate he is. And I can't explain it, but he is I agree exception. with you about that. Southgate it's, looks at him and he goes, listen, at, at top tournaments, he performs for yep. England. He's got this calmness about him, this reassurance. He Even when he's not playing well, he backs himself. He just backs himself. There's some, there's some players when they're not playing well, they kind of go into their shell and they get worse or they don't... He still backs himself, Harry Maguire. What, how do you, what do you consider he backs himself? What, what has he shown that he's backing himself? 
He shows for the ball. He wants to play. He still plays out the back. You know, certain centre backs when they're not playing well, they don't show for the ball. They don't try and be leaders. They don't try and bark out orders. Even at Man United, when I watch him play, even at this period where he's not playing well, I'll see him barking at other players, giving orders. I'll see him still trying to carry the ball at the back or show for it. Are you going to say anything? Am I lying? You're a Man United. Come on, you. Like we're just letting him ramble. But Am I lying? I don't think you're lying. But he's been. Ri- your point, right? You think if he's been squad, terrible? Yes, he has been terrible, and he would know himself he's been terrible. He Harry hasn't been Maguire. great. He hasn't been no, great. No, he's been terrible, Craig. I like, I like Is Harry Gareth Maguire. Is going to pick him? He will pick him. Even if he has a monumental drop him. off. What, what, he will pick him. He's had a monumental drop off. So you agree with me then? No, I don't agree. the exception to the rule I don't think he's an exception to the rule. For Gareth Southgate, There's a few players that are exception to the rule for Southgate. But I can't believe you're not saying anything. And Harry Kane. Why are you not saying anything? You've got an opinion about Harry Maguire. <laughs> no, I, I do. And the question that I asked was, if Harry Maguire's form the way that it's been for the last few months continues all the way up until the day the England squad yep. is announced for the World Cup, will he be in it? And I think he will. So why? So I've told you, but why Because then? I think Gareth Southgate trusts him. 